So it hasn't as much changed the way that I've thought of math instruction as it has um, supported and kind of enhanced the idea um, that students really just have to have something tangible when they're learning um, and to really have that group, that collaboration through math as well. Zero to three has expanded my thinking of math with three-year-olds beyond just counting rote counting or even recognizing numbers, but looking at patterns, looking at quantity, looking at positional words. Once I do that, know the song with them, it's math time. And if I let them touch, participate, oh, they're loving the activities. They're very curious. So as long as you're doing something that's interested to them or you make it very interested, they're gonna be right there with you. Problem Solvers has helped me to realize how important math concepts are in, in real life and in everyday looking outside, looking at nature, um, engaging children and what they see around them. I hear them counting other things or I see them making patterns with different thing, different blocks or we have sorting like one day at snack they sorted all the colors of the Fruit Loops. My students are able to pick up on shapes in the hallway. They'll notice the squares, tiles. Um, they'll notice those things. They've noticed patterns um, in the hallway. And so it's just, it's so exciting to see them just kind of realize the work, this kind of a brightness that, that comes um, into their world when they start noticing and making those connections. A couple of my parents were really interested and they would come back with something new that their child did at home. One little boy came up to me and told me that he, he heard a bird um, when they were outside playing. And so he was listening for patterns and told his mom about the patterns that he had heard. So just kind of exciting to hear them um, talk about their, their learning. I think um, using Problem Solvers curriculum is a great way for teachers that are a little hesitant on um, having hands-on activities as opposed to like a paper pencil. I think the biggest piece of advice I would give a another teacher who wants to use math with three-year-olds is to be intentional. Make it an intentional time, um, make it a fun time. And that's what Problem Solvers um, was able to do for me is to make it an intentional time that I had to sit and think this out and get my kids to think mathematically. Mm -hmm.